The customer portal gives your customers access to a secure online area with a login. They will have the ability, depending on the permissions you provide them with, to do the following. Request a new quote or job. View existing quotes, jobs and invoices. Process payments against invoices if you have Stripe card payments enabled. And two-way messaging between you and the customer on jobs, quotes and invoices. In this video, you will learn how to enable the customer portal. How to set up the customer portal. Adding customer portal users. Mapping job and quote statuses for customer portal users. And how to log in to the customer portal in WorkEver. Enabling the customer portal. As default, the customer portal will be enabled on your account for all customers, but they will not be able to log in until you provide them login details. You can disable or re-enable it by going to settings. Click the company settings section. Go to company information, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and click the active or not active toggle button. After enabling or disabling the customer portal, click the save button. You can also choose what all of your customer portal users have access to, such as quotes, jobs, invoices, view office and field worker notes, and credit card payment. Setting up the customer portal. To set up the customer portal for a specific customer, go to the contact section, search for the customer, view their profile, and click the customer portal option on the left hand side. You can click the active toggle button at the top to enable or disable the customer portal for this specific customer. You can also add a portal identifier that will be added to the customer portal link to personalize the link for this specific customer. This for example, could be part of their company name. To further personalize the customer portal for this customer, you can click the add logo button to add their company logo. You can also click the accent color option to choose the color of their customer portal. To apply the changes, click Save. Adding the customer portal users. You can allow multiple users from a company to access the portal and give them different permissions. In the customer portal section from a contacts profile, you can click one of the add portal user buttons to add a new user. You will need to add their basic details, such as contact details, email and password. You can also choose permissions for this user. You can choose if they can see jobs, quotes, invoices, and job templates. You can also choose if they can view office and field worker notes, and if they can make credit card payments via the Stripe integration, as well as choosing which site a specific user has access to view and request jobs and quotes for. From the user list, you can also click the delete button to remove a user. Mapping job and quote statuses for customer portal users. Customer portal users see the same statuses that you see on your main WorkEver account. There may be occasions where you don't want them to, such as if you have internal statuses that are not for customers to see. In this case, you can map statuses so that the customer only sees the statuses you want them to. To map statuses, go to settings, work settings, then go to the job statuses or quote statuses sections. You then have two options, map a status, for example, show the scheduled status as traveling to the portal user. Or the second option is to only change the display name of the status, so they see that status showing as a different name. The same can be done for quote statuses. Once you've made the changes, click save. How to log in to the customer portal. As soon as the customer portal user receives the email with their login details and the customer portal URL, they can click on the URL and log in to view their portal account. Once they've logged into the portal, they can request jobs and quotes to be done, view existing jobs and quotes, check files attached to jobs, and send messages. You can also allow customers to pay invoices via credit or debit card if you have the Stripe integration enabled. So now you've learned how to enable the customer portal, setting up the customer portal, adding customer portal users, mapping job and quote statuses for customer portal users, and login to the customer portal in WorkEver.